If we want some of the notes to be louder than others, we can raise or lower the bars without going all the way down. Over here, we can overlay 16 interesting velocity patterns onto whatever rhythm we have going on at the time. If we want to scale the timeline velocities, we can do that here. We can reset the pattern's default with these buttons. So let's check out the other articulations. So, we just used the Global Articulation Chooser. That will always set Timeline 1 to violins, Timeline 2 to violas, Timeline 3 to cellos, and Timeline 4 to basses, all with the chosen articulation. But what's really cool is we can choose any articulation or section and put it into any timeline. So, for example, let's say we want to have the cellos and basses play pizzicato, while violins and violas remain playing spiccato. While it's a bit obvious that we can solo or mute timelines with these buttons, we can also use key switches. Just hold down a key switch to solo a timeline. Holding down the highest A, MIDI note 105, solos timeline 4. The highest B flat is timeline 3. Highest B is timeline 2. And the highest C is timeline 1. A brand new feature for Kinetic Strings Plus is the Compose page. Here, we have four pitch timelines that correspond to the four pattern timelines below. Since there's nothing in these pitch timelines, we'll hear whatever notes we play. But watch what happens when we draw into these timelines and then hold down some notes. Each event gets transposed from whatever notes you played to the amount of transposition in these pitch timelines. The transposition is up or down an octave. But there are a lot more built-in features here that will create truly inspirational templates on which you can freely edit. For starters, we can transpose our edits here. Copy and paste, randomize, set a maximum or minimum amount of transposition, and of course, reset.
So now let's check out some built-in ostinato presets. How about trying a half step up? We can use a menu bar or a slider. Okay, so notice how two notes are not transposed, and then two notes go up half a step. That's because we're using the default ostinato pattern, which is two notes blank, two notes transposed. But as we can see, we have a bunch of other patterns to choose from. Underlines mean a non-transposed note, and X's mean a transposed note. So currently, every note we play will be transposed exactly the amount chosen. So if we play a bunch of chords, it might sound cool, but it can be a bit creepy, if that's what you want. But what's really cool is that we can constrain to any major or harmonic minor key over here. So we'll choose C major and play the same cue. All right, so let's check out C minor while we still play in C major. But we've saved the best for last here. We can step record our own custom patterns. Let's start by stepping in the violins. We click the step button here and then go for it. Each note we play is a step. If we want to rest, we click rest. Notice that not only did the transpositions take place, but also velocities and rests got inserted into the main pattern timeline below. So if we like what we have, we click keep. Undo will keep the step function armed, but deletes what we did. So now if we start stepping in, it will start but at the beginning of the timeline. Now, to easily make sure all sections are playing the same thing, we can simply paste what we did into the other timelines. We access the mix page here. The first new feature is that we can now change articulations whether globally or per timeline without having to go back to the home page. Also, we can now mix each timeline's notes. For example, let's say the basses are just too loud at C2. We can change that here. Three exciters have been added for interesting effects. Some are more punchy, some are compressed, etc. As mentioned before, just about every feature in Kinetic Strings Plus can be automated. Most of the time, it's by using Contact's MIDI Learn process.
but some features can't be automated that way, so we've made an automation page where you can choose MIDI controllers for those. 